Semkop Tengge Floating Solar Farm is one of the largest uh, floating solar projects on the water in the region and in Singapore. This is a very large project. When the project was awarded to us, you get that feeling that you got to make it happen. Being the first or pioneer team to build something of this scale is not an easy task. I would say we have come a long way. Producing clean water can be an energy intensive uh, operation. Singapore's economy is growing, so is its population. And to meet these growing needs, the water demand is projected to almost double by the year 2060. If we continue business as usual, we do expect the energy that we require will be four times of what we need today. By greening our operations, we are able to reduce our carbon footprint and do our part to mitigate climate change. The idea of a floating solar farm actually was incepted way back in 2011 where we start to think about the feasibility and the potential of solar PV deployment in PUB. And with the large area that surface reservoirs offer, it is a good opportunity for us to deploy even more solar PV. Besides ensuring the long-term sustainability of our operations, it also enhances the resilience of our water operations by reducing our dependence on fossil fuels. SEMCORP is the largest renewable energy player in Singapore. Globally, we have 3,300 megawatts of systems and in Singapore, we have more than 370 megawatts. That translates to about 2,000 over buildings and uh, the best practices that we have accumulated has been built into the centre of excellence. This is the first for SEMCORP. Given the limited water surface area of the reservoir, to fit 122,000 solar panels on it, we need to come up with different ways to condense the surface area required for 122,000 panels. We adopted the three rows of solar panels uh, kind of design, where we have three rows of solar panels every walkway, instead of the typical two rows of panels every walkway. I think there's uh, some concerns whether, you know, when we scale up, whether there's any impact on water quality or whether there's, there could be any adverse environmental impact. So at the same time, we consulted and engaged nature groups um, in the scoping of our environmental impact studies to ensure that, you know, even when we scale up this floating solar farm deployment, there's not going to be adverse impact on water quality and the biodiversity. When we talk about solar panels on water, it, we are essentially talking about electricity on water. So that, that presents concern on the safety of the system. Um, we, we are talking about high humidity. We're talking about uh, very strong uh, sun uh, irradiation or UV rays. So when we design the system, we make sure that we have uh, suitable floats to support the solar panels. COVID-19 was a huge challenge uh, because uh, it really slows down our progress and it affected our workforce. And because of the COVID measures in place, uh, it's harder for us to manage the schedule accordingly, to speed up the schedule. At the same time, we have certain uh, structures that need to be installed. So it's not only just water, but we have uh, works on the land itself. We chose our best contractors and uh, together we developed the engineering design. A few of the innovations that we have developed was um, GPS trackers to track the position of the floats to ensure its safety. We are also one of the uh, first to deploy a drone in electroluminous testing for such a large scale project. So we are using uh, innovation and technology to manage this large-scale uh, utility farm.
one place. I think the journey so far to, to see how an empty piece of grass patch become um, our lay down area, our construction area, and from an open area of water, now, now what you see behind me is all the, the panels and the solar farm. We have come a long way. Even though there's this crunch in place, we are still able to meet the timeline that was given to us. Uh. What's next for SAMCORP is we are actually ready for new challenges. We have gained the experience, we have the know-how. We hope to continue to develop more projects in Singapore using the lessons that we have learned. We are definitely looking forward to a greener future. So we want to challenge ourselves to bring more green initiatives to 